It is 654 73 degrees. Time for my final thought. When you hear the name Tony Bennett, who comes to mind? A suave singer of a certain age? Well, if you're from the DMV, mainly the V, that first person should be University of Virginia men's basketball coach Tony Bennett, who since taking the job 10 years ago has built the program into a powerhouse, taking his team to six consecutive NCAA tournaments before taking home the whole thing with last year's national championship run. His coaching skills are well known in the basketball world, being a four-time ACC Coach of the Year winner, as well as a two-time AP and Naismith winner, as well as a three-time winner of the Henry Ibo Award for National Coach of the Year, which puts him second to a coach you might have heard of, John Wooden. He's truly an impressive figure in college sports, and now here comes another accolade for him. It's contract time, baby. And with all he's accomplished in his years in Charlottesville, including that national title, it's time to cash in, right? Well. He did accept the new contract, which will keep him at UVA for several more years, but he took it under one condition that the school not give him a raise and use that extra money for pay increases for his staff and make improvements to his program as well as the other Virginia teams, saying, quote, I have more than enough, and if there are ways that this can help out the athletic department, the other programs and coaches by not tying up so much, that's my desire. Now, he and his wife, Laura, have also pledged $500,000 towards a career development program started to assist current and former men's basketball players. Understand something, with him making a little over $4 million last year, nobody needs to worry about holding a rent party for the Bennetts. They're doing fine. But his selflessness, his desire to see to it that his people are rewarded and his investment in young people who go through his program, as well as the school's others at a time when everyone from coaches to administrators to TV networks to people down at your job and the yearly March Madness pool are cashing in on college sports. It speaks volumes about his character. Now, if only there were students that were allowed to cash in as well. Hmm. We're going to continue this conversation online. You guys have a beautiful Tuesday. Look for me in the latest L.L. Bean catalog.